it's move week. That is the nicest blueberry protein shake. Wow, that is so nice. Like the perfect thick consistency. It looks the same color as my lips right now, but um, this tastes like an acai smoothie. Hello. Oof. I thought I could sit down and just bring you up to speed because it's move week and I'm not feeling stressed and I'm not allowing myself. I keep having to affirm to myself, I don't do overwhelm. Those words, I heard Mel Robbins on a podcast say she has that pinned up everywhere and I feel like it's helping. I don't do overwhelm. That's what I'm trying to really instill into my brain right now. But yes, we are moving this week, moving all our stuff from Dubai in a shipping container back to the UK, like all our furniture. It's a one bed apartment we're in right now so in my head I'm feeling like oh this is stressful but it's not massive when I actually think about it it's my bed sofa like a few mirrors that's what I'm trying to tell myself it's not massive of stuff and doesn't need to be stressful because I'm organized I think I'm organized I hope I'm organized but there's just little stuff so I thought I could bring you along this week and show you what I'll get up to and also just share the process because this is a massive life update I feel like I've got so many emotions this week because I'm just thinking so typical I feel like you know when you're ending or like I don't know whether we'll come back to Dubai later this year maybe in the winter or if we won't return I don't know like Dubai feels like my second home and I love it here I don't love the summers in Dubai I must admit and it didn't make sense to extend our tenancy in Dubai when I don't really want to spend my summer here and I have a huge project in the UK that I'm working on which is a renovation project I've mentioned briefly in some other of my vlogs and I'm really excited for that that's been like under works so I can't wait to get stuck into that when I get back so we're taking all our furniture which we've had to organize like a shipping container which there's been a few like hiccups in regards to that and I just need to sell my outdoor furniture here I've put it on Facebook marketplace so hopefully that'll go this week I've started the fit and strong challenge so I thought I could share some of my workouts from that and yeah just gonna be doing my usual stuff and packing up as I go something that's not the best timing is I've come on my period today and I'm like oh god no wonder why I feel like yesterday I was, all my emotions were just everywhere and this I've always it's typical isn't it everything always comes at once and also I've had so many opportunities like over last week and then stuff this week and I'm just like why is this all coming just as I'm leaving you know it's just typical isn't it but I'm grateful nevertheless and I'm really excited for the future I'm quite nervous like this has felt like my home for some time now and now I'm just trying to imagine like what my life looks like next and make sure I'm putting in all the stuff I've just been trying to cancel the wi-fi here we just need to sort that out i went and did a lovely a really really good session this morning i did glutes and quads from the challenge and that was the best session i also went in the steam room had a lovely chat with a lady who is a dentist and with some deep life chats I've got some work to do now. I need to film some recipes, which I'm looking forward to doing. And then Mason and I are gonna to go to Paddle this evening with some of his friends, I think. It was absolutely delicious. That was perfect. Like this is one of my favorite snacks, just to have a nice high protein smoothie. Plan is this week, I've got bits of work that I need to crack on with. Also, I'm gonna gradually pack up this place, all my stuff. I don't feel like I actually have loads of clothes. Like I've got this wardrobe here and a drawer. And then I've also given some bits away to Mason's sister and we leave here on the 11th we have got a morning flight so I think I'll arrive back into the UK for like midday sort of time and then I've booked an Airbnb from the 11th for a month and then our house in the UK which we'll be renovating oh god <laughs> It's really, oh, that didn't start off to the best plan, but I feel like with any sort of construction or whenever like you're dealing with builders and whatnot, it's just, it's not straightforward, is it? So basically found out we need a new roof on this house a new flipping roof a whole new roof there's no like patching over this roof it needs a whole new roof i think it's a dodgily built roof so that's one thing and then the other thing is there's some like loads of damp and stuff so there's a lot of work that needs doing on this house so i don't know when it'll be livable but i'm ready to put in the work and i'm ready to get it kind of livable and I'm, i want to document that and share it on here so yeah exciting 
Mace. Mace has just got back and we're gonna go and play paddle. I've got this all in one, I don't know what you can call this, but it's like, fits a bit weird at the back. Like I feel like it comes up shorter here and longer at the front, but we're going with some Mason's friends. I've not actually met them before, so it should be good. I haven't played paddle in like two months, I think. So we'll just have to see. Oh, going to play paddle. I see it's similar to tennis, but with slightly different rules. It's quite a fun thing. Kind of easy to get the grips of, isn't it? Like it's not like a, mm. what's the word? It's basically like paddle. Sorry, it's basically like tennis. <laughs> it's, basically like it's like tennis and squash combined. Combined, yeah. It's actually the fastest growing sport in the world. The yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. It's got really popular everywhere. And it's quite a nice social thing to do, isn't it, with people? It's a good workout, but it's nothing too intense that you couldn't just invite anyone along, if you know what I mean. It's nice to do something as well that isn't in the apartment because oh, I feel like we've got so much just trying to sort through stuff to leave this week. I think I'm associating this move with our big house move that we did a year ago because that was moving and getting rid of literally three years, three or four years of furniture, moving it, selling stuff away, this is literally a one bed apartment but I do feel like I'm scarred from that last move I think any house move can just it feels like a stressful thing especially when you don't have a home that is ready to move into but that'll be a nice process I think so nice and cool so we've come to the golden mile it's called smash paddle they've got like a cool little gym as well Wednesday and I've just washed my hair and gotten ready. I went on a 10k run this morning. It took me 57, I think 57 minutes. I'm just about to go on a walk in a second with my friend Courtney. So I'm just going to do my hair. I got super sweaty, so I, I just had to wash it even though I only washed it, I think it like Monday. I thought I could show you what products I'm using and I'm gonna try out some different ones. So I'm using my Bondi Boost Heat Protect Spray and then I'm gonna use my Olaplex Bonding Oil because we're flying this week, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I feel like I use all my products thinking that it's going to make, like a few sprays of this is going to make a difference in my um, suitcase weight. Just spraying this all over. This smells amazing, the Olaplex bonding oil. I'm really hoping I'm not just going to do my hair for the sake of it and then go out on a walk in the humid heat and it just goes so I'm going to use this Wow Colour Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. I have used this before, activated by heat. I just spray this all over. I do remember it went a bit weird the last time I used this, like my hair felt a little bit sticky from what I remember. So just dried my hair probably to about 80% dry and then I'm gonna just start by blow drying all these under layers like blow dry it facing so it's coming towards my face rather than away from my face like this Wow, that spray, I feel like I can already see a difference and I'm two hair pieces in. I saw something the other day that was saying if you struggle with styling your hair or you wonder how like someone else has or can achieve like a different look with your hair, that it's actually a lot to do with the products that you're using or how you're washing your hair. Slight relocation. Mason's got a call and our main mirror is actually in the living room, which means that I do my hair in there most of the time. And the reason for that is because when I read a book on Feng Shui and when I've watched other YouTube videos about Feng Shui, I found out that it's really bad, or not really bad, but supposedly bad Feng Shui to have a mirror directly facing your bed. And I swear, I've noticed such a difference in how I sleep when I don't have mirrors in the bedroom. Could just be, oh, I don't know, like, but superstitious but now I just prefer not to have mirrors in the bedroom especially not one directly facing the bed. Feng Shui is all about apparently like energy flow and how a room feels so since then I've noticed that. I look so crazy right now but with these top bits I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to blow dry these like away from my face and then put the rollers in the opposite direction and see how this kind of looks. <laughs> That 
is it all in my rollers. So the difference is I've just done the bottom layers towards my face and then these top ones, I've done them in three sections. So my like top bits in three. Normally I kind of do one or two. I feel like I always rush when I get to this part. So that's the main difference. I'm just gonna go quickly make my greens drink because I've not had that today and I just remembered. I really feel like that helps so much just with my digestion and I've noticed the biggest difference. Here, try Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> I've really got you used to the taste of this. Like, I will never tell you that this tastes nice. It's the strangest, strangest taste, but I feel like my body craves it now, which is unusual. You know when you don't like the taste of something to begin with and then you have it again and you're like, oh, I can't really taste that anymore. Okay. This is looking different. Ooh. Oh my God. This actually looks so much better than the last time. I think my bangs, these bits need trimming a bit, but I'm really happy with that. Run a little bit of oil and then the hairspray. That is such, I think, a hack. And it just gives your hair kind of more layers to it when you do them in different directions busy today. Squeeze one in here. Oh, breathe in. That's tight. Right. Just uh, drew into this place called Kite Beach and it's also like a running spot. They've got this really nice long, I don't know how long it actually is. I think it's about 11k and I meet my friend Courtney here. Maybe grab a coffee or a bite to eat. I am a bit peckish. I just had an apple. I had my oats this morning and yeah, this should be nice actually. sat watching a bit of YouTube and before you know it, it was 1am. So the alarm went off at half seven today and we're going to do a class, like a, a CrossFit functional, I think, kind of class. Mason was going all last week with his friend and I got really jealous because it sounded like they were having a really good time doing these crazy classes. He showed me some videos of you doing like a, what was it, a wall plank or something with your legs up. So I thought, oh, I've got to try this out before we go this week. So that is where we're heading to. I was just thinking, I can't remember the last time I did a burpee and I know CrossFit has loads of boats, so that is gonna be something. God, what has happened here, Mace? <laughs> so Mace put this bread recipe outside on the balcony. It must have been 20 minutes ago. What, and it's supposed to, you're supposed to leave it to rest? What has happened to it? It must be the heat outside that has caused it to rise. Here's where the bread's turned down. Just very blatantly tried it. And that is actually so tasty. And it's gluten-free as well. You need a bread knife though, that's the only thing. <laughs>
as you can tell, it has started. We are trying to pack everything up now. Oh God, let me just put you level. <sighs> it's Friday and I feel like we kind of had a realization at the beginning of the week because it is a one bed apartment and we actually haven't got that much stuff here compared to our house. We were like, actually, it's not gonna be a big job. Or so we thought, so we're just starting with clearing out some drawers. We listed some more bits on Facebook Marketplace because I'm just thinking to myself, say if we can't like sell something, I don't even know where we'd put or like where would you give away a piece of like, um, I'm looking at this TV unit and I just don't know what we're gonna do if it doesn't go on Facebook. We're gonna start sorting out our wardrobes. We actually moved to Dubai with two suitcases each. I feel like I can take two suitcases back. The only thing I wanna take is like my coffee machine home in my suitcase somehow. Like would that go in my mini, you know, like hand luggage? <laughs> Shipping people are coming to collect our sofa bed tomorrow and then today I need to get the sofa cleaned and also the rugs like the floor rugs that we're going to take back because they're white rugs they just pick up so much like makeup and stuff. But that workout yesterday which I videoed oh my bloody Jesus that was so intense. I'll make sure that you can see the the actual workout board so that you can give it a go because oh, it was so hard it was like a crossfit style with running. The start of that workout we started off with burpee broad jumps and where we were doing them on just like the middle of like a pathway you could literally smell dog poo so I thought oh god what have I got myself in for here and it didn't get easier from that point onwards but it was so good and challenging it was really nice to do a workout like that in a group as well because you just push yourself so much more and it was just nice to mix things up too. I haven't even left this place yet and I already feel like I miss it in a way. I guess that's like anywhere that you've made your home or that you've spent a lot of time and oh it makes me sad the thought of selling like my coffee machine but I, I, I would take that with me or sell it and I can always replace like things are always replaceable and try not to get attached to things because the last time we moved out of that home I was so attached to that house because I guess you create memories there you have your routines and rituals I like my things in certain ways but you can just recreate that anywhere and I think the more you get used to not the discomfort or the unknown but the more you just embrace and surrender I like that word to change the more you can grow as well so that's what I'm affirming to myself this morning and I'm gonna meditate today because I'm feeling a little bit stressed uh, no I'm not not feeling stressed I'm trying not to say that word but something else I try and do as well when I do move is I'm trying to keep everything kind of tidy so that it doesn't feel like just one big mess and I think that helps with a move just like trying to do bits in sections and keep things I say this it's, it's going to be probably like a bomb looks like a bomb's gone off in about an hour or so but like this week I've just tried to keep the apartment as tidy as possible I feel like when you keep your space clean you just feel so much less cluttered in your mind these are my ring lights that I use for my recipes and and I need to somehow fit them. This is my suitcase. So Mason's going through his wardrobe and deciding what needs to go. They, uh, I don't know actually, I'm not sure about them. You've never, I've never seen you in them. They almost look a bit yellow. Where are they from? Zara. Zara. Bursh. Looks like there's some more people moving. I think these guys are moving in. Don't mind the washing there. These two apartments, I think there's a lot that have come empty in this building. And I remember when these guys left, I didn't even know them, never had a conversation, but I felt sad because they used to sit out here and have a coffee and then I'd kind of sit on our balcony and have my coffee and you only just get used to seeing someone. But yeah, there's some more people moving down there. And this lovely plant, which I would love to take with me, but I just don't think it'd survive in a shipping container. So this needs to to, oh, we need to either sell that, don't we, Mason? Do you think Melissa would want that? Yeah, it's been a good plan. This is a really good mix, by the way, on YouTube. Best of 2023 Afro beats. It's really happy, summery vibes. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> 
this sports bra a lot, it's completely I've washed out the colour. You wouldn't even know so much to say. I feel like I actually have way more active wear clothes than I do normal clothes. Getting the rug cleaned with carpet cleaner. Oh, I'm really sad to see this tree go. pretty much all packed up i'm just feeling like i don't want to go through my suitcase and just check that i don't want to put anything else in i'm just making a very random egg thing in the microwave we haven't actually eaten today so i need to eat some food and also just get rid of all our stuff like it's going to be the most random meals for the next foreseeable few days still got a bit of fruit and veg here relief so I've already mentioned that today is a Saturday and oh my god I feel like I can finally just relax the movers have been so basically we use this company to take all our furniture back to the UK I thought about selling it here but I absolutely love every single piece like I love the sofa we got our bed so it just made more sense to take it with us to put into the next house because we're only going to need to furnish that again and I thought I'd just end up getting the same thing so that made complete sense and then I advertised the Nespresso Vituro coffee machine that I've got my blender I sold some Nothing else. It's all a bit of a blur. Air fryer, which oh, I'm kind of sad to see that go. That air fryer, I've used it every single day for absolutely everything. So I felt a little bit like, oh, I'm giving away my baby. But I need to get a grip because you can just replace these things. So they all went to the same woman, and I was quite happy because she was just so sweet. A little boy with her who was very invested in the air fryer. He was checking it out, like making sure I wasn't, I don't know, doing them over. So that was quite nice. She came and took that, and I just, I was just thinking everything always works out, which I'm so grateful because this morning when the movers came Mason could probably see it in my face but I was just getting so overwhelmed because there were so many people in our house all our stuff all my personal belongings like I had knickers flying around the place some literal lingerie that I used to call lingerie when I was younger dotting about do you know when you're moving and just the stuff flying everywhere and you're like oh god 
<laughs> what next? And then my natural cycle stick that I use was somehow just like out in the open. And then it gradually started coming together and they packaged stuff so well because I was concerned as well, thinking, God, is it going to make it in one piece? And I'm still baffled. So it's going by boat from Dubai, the UAE to the UK, which I think is hilarious. I don't know why. I was obviously asking like, does it go by plane or something? Obviously it'd be so quick, but it takes weeks, like eight to 10 weeks to arrive into the UK. And we got them down. We got to a good price, but basically we have got like part of a container. And then once that container is filled, which apparently will be in about a week or so, they then take everything over, which takes yeah, about like eight to 10 weeks, which is a little bit longer than what I was expecting. So I think we'll get all of our stuff in June time, which is kind of good timing because I will show you in the next vlogs, which I'm super excited about. We're doing a big renovation project. When I say big, I mentioned the other day, the house needs a whole new roof and it is completely needs gutting. So I want to share part of that journey, but hopefully all this furniture will be going into that house, which is slightly hard to imagine in this very moment because it's a big contrast. But yeah, that's the plan. Oh, isn't it the best? feeling when you're moving and you can finally see sight of stuff. So basically I put loads of activewear into box into storage which was super handy because the, there was no way I was going to be able to take all my clothes and ring lights and electrical goods and camera equipment in one suitcase. So I've just got one suitcase there and then I need to go buy another suitcase to take my ring lights. And then behind me is our bed for the night which you're going to love. Oh, wait until you see this. We need to maybe find an air bed or we're going to be sleeping on just this flipping tile floor which we tested out me and mace laid here and we we're like oh no i don't know if we'll be able to sleep on that like we're going to wake up with a bad bad back so we're supposed to move out of here tomorrow the 10th or the 9th tomorrow i think i think it's the 8th night tomorrow i said to mace i was like let's just like message the landlord and see if we can move out on the 11th because we're gonna have to go to a hotel tomorrow and i just thought it'd be nice to enjoy our like where we've lived and like say goodbye <laughs> i feel emotionally attached <laughs> I don't want to leave. But, um, and then you just replied saying that's absolutely fine. And I just thought, oh, see, you just got to ask these questions. I've got myself ready and I feel so much better. I was just going to have a no makeup day and I just felt rotten. I'm really glad we did a workout. I just did a bit of everything because I'm still really, really achy. My wrists in particular from that workout I did earlier in, on in the week, that CrossFit style. I trained body parts that I clearly mustn't do very often. But yeah, plan of action now. I feel like before I carry on on rambling but I just wanted to bring you up to speed with everything. I'll show you the empty apartment that needs cleaning actually I'm going to give it a tidy. We're going to go and do something really chill because we'll both just mentally feel like my head's just oh, going to explode. We might go to the cinema and just do something really chilled and nice tonight. I've just realised something that we have no blinds so it's going to be nice and bright in here early tomorrow morning. Gets light really early here, so we're not going to be sleeping in. Let me show you our lovely bed that, just looking at the side of it, my back is actually hurting and in bits. This is going to make me appreciate my lovely mattress so much more than I already do, but maybe if we get, like, maybe a blow-up mattress or something. I've just done my makeup here. And then look at this complete emptiness. We need to tidy up the balcony and everything. The only thing that is left that we're seeing here is just this TV and media console. It's actually really echoey in here, but it's nice seeing it so much brighter now that furniture's gone. In hindsight, we should have just got a little table and chairs instead of having like this sofa thing that we did have before. These are the ring lights that I'm thinking about putting into a suitcase because I use them pretty much daily. Our meals have been so random today. We had some microwaved egg white and egg yolk for breakfast and then some oats. It's actually not even that random, what I'm about. That's basically what we eat, but I don't normally microwave. It's quite nice actually, wasn't it? It was quick as well. Is, um, now, yeah. we're going to have some sardines and corn cakes. And some beans. God, loads come out of that. Corn Maybe we could beans. go to Waitrose Deli. Oh, it's the best in Dubai actually. I think I'll miss that. This is, I think it's like tomato it's sardines. Corn. This actually looks really nice. So mayonnaise, sweet corn and sardines. A bit of spice, a bit of herbs as well in there. It looks quite gross. Do you think? I think it was quite nice. So just got to the mall where the cinema is and we're going to pop into Waitrose. I really need the toilet and we're going to watch Air in the cinema which is about Michael Jordan and Nike. I haven't actually watched the trailer yet. I've been really fancy going to the cinema actually. I've brought a hoodie and a big bag. We always get our own snacks to take in here. That has just become like a thing now and I'm going to get some prawns, I think, some sweet potato, these really, really good salads from this deli place.
resorted to coming to get an air bed. That feel was so good, so inspiring. We were so tired, it's about half ten, and it just sunk in that we were sleeping on the floor tonight. So we thought, whilst we're in the mall, let's get ourselves to a, <laughs> an outdoor shop and buy a flipping air bag. Air bag? Air I'm so tired. Air bed, so we've just been and bought one. They're quite pricey, you know, for an air bed. So we've just picked that up and a pump. Now, I'm just trying to find where we've parked. Good morning. Oh my gosh. I didn't have the best night's sleep, but I am so grateful we went and got an air bed because oh, there was just no way. If we'd have slept on the floor, I would be in bits this morning. I can't tell if the camera's blurry right now or if my eyes are just not really open. But I slept with an eye mask on, and for some reason, when I wear an eye mask, I feel like I wake up quite puffy. Like my eyes are always a little bit inflamed. So I'm just sorting my face out. I could do doing like a cold compress or something on my eyes. I'm just doing my makeup and I'm gonna head to Fit and Glam Gym. Mason's gone to rugby this morning actually, and he's taking the car, so I might. I grab a taxi. I don't actually, what day is it? It is a Sunday today. Sunday's normally a rest day, but then I missed my lower body day, so I'm gonna fit that in. And I also like swapped my days around, so I did a run on the day that I was supposed to do my lower body session, and I really wanna go and do that. And I find as well, I always just feel so much better when there's loads going on, for example, us moving out of this place, and I feel like my routine can go out of the window. I find when I make time for myself, I just find everything else seems to go smoother. So that is the plan. I woke up this morning obviously and realised oh no coffee machine. So I might treat myself to an Arabica on delivery. I did wake up feeling a little bit like just oh god overwhelmed like that apartment looks so empty which makes me feel, I felt a little bit sad in a way but then so many nice memories here maybe that's what it is. to the point and we're going to brunch and cake which is like this really nice breakfast place that we like to come come go to they've got them all over as well and we'll be in Melissa, Mason's sister here, and I'm absolutely ravenous. I'm a little bit hangry and moody right now. I had a protein shake and then I thought I'd save myself because they've got the best menu here. I'm thinking they've got like this really nice date and protein smoothie, which I got a while ago, and maybe some eggs, avocado, smoked salmon, I'm thinking. But yeah, we just thought whilst it's our last few days here, we would enjoy a little breakfast out. But yeah, I got ready in 20 minutes. Hello there. Happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday as well, actually. Easter Sunday. We've not had an Easter egg today. Mason's mum brought over loads of, like, she must have brought ten. Mm, like three weeks ago. Weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> She's the tree the queen. yesterday. They enjoyed them. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to head in and eat something. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice paddle play too. Oh, we should have come here the other day. Yeah. We should have come and played paddle here. Oh, yeah. It's nicer, actually. Stay 
like Turn every up. day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me, please stay, please stay. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Strawberry milk cake. Oh, look at this greenhouse one. Spinach cake. Yes. <gasps> what? Wow, this looks insane. I think there's like a cream base here with berries. Oh my god. It's not really like a cake, it's more like a meal. Oh my gosh, it's Tuesday and we're all packed up. We're literally just leaving, we're running a little bit, not a little bit, very bad. <laughs> but we've just been sorting out all like the final bits and the painter is coming here and also like a cleaner and stuff to give it a deep clean. Oh, I still feel like it's free stuff everywhere. But yeah, it's completely bare. I wanted to just show you an empty apartment tour. The last time waking up to this view today, I need to remember to close that window. It's not actually the clearest of days. Oh, thank you, lovely apartment. Oh, this will be the last time that this is the backdrop of my kitchen. This has been such a good space. Like I feel like I've created loads of videos, lots of recipes here. So yeah, moving on to bigger and better things and yeah, we need to get to the airport quick. I don't want to miss our flight. We just need to finish loading up the car, but I'm probably going to wrap this video up here because I think it's been nearly over a week vlog and I feel like I've got loads in this one. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next videos, which are going to be showing the new house that we're going to be renovating, which just wait, honestly, it is an absolute, I don't even know what to describe it as. I haven't actually seen it since January, so I don't know what state it's going to be in, but I think it's going to be exciting to share that. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a lovely day, evening, whatever time it is when you're watching this. Thank you. So I didn't really know what to do with these flowers because I don't think they're going to make it in the luggage. Thing. I'm just going to give them to this lady on the checking desk. Take these flowers for you. They're not going to make it on the flight. No, 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 you have the flowers. You have them. No problem. This was 37 kg. Jesus.